serious housemates. Alu Sain Kimbara, housemate number three. Amina Kone, housemate number four. Bintu Kaban, housemate number six. Dilish George, housemate number ten. Enid Bostin Jones, housemate number twelve. Henry Fauna, housemate number seventeen. Monika Yeni Galiwa, housemate number eighteen. Ibrahim Shehab, housemate number nineteen. Ibrahim Sori Bari, housemate number twenty. Jennifer Jaba, housemate number twenty-four. Kenshin Palmer, housemate number twenty-six. Magdalene T. Williams, housemate number twenty-eight. Mohammed Ali Jalo, housemate number thirty. Sahid Komkana Bangura, housemate number thirty-six. Salim Sahid Kamara, housemate number thirty-eight. Suad Kuruma, housemate number forty. Mifambulem, unakushe. Once again, welcome to Housemate Salon Daily Show, coming to you on AYB Television, Channel 33. I'm yours truly, Jimmy B. It's the break of a new dawn to usher in a brand new day, fresh challenges and new opportunities. Housemates file out for the usual morning fitness exercises, comprising stretches, jumping, press-ups, and the like, are meant to keep them mentally and physically alert for the many tasks that lie ahead. Giving credence to the popular saying, a sound mind in a sound body. Ladies, you will not attempt until I say so. Am I clear? Begin to spin now. Keep spinning. Let's say keep spinning, spin until let's say bite. No, 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 not too busy, but... Keep spinning and repositioning. Spin. Keep spinning. You may not take another sausage. You may not take another sausage. Keep spinning. Reposition Timberland. Ladies, take a bite. Thank you. Begin. Begin. Bite. Following a period of respite and refreshment, the chief of the house called housemates individually to the diary room asking them questions about who their role model is or the personality they admire most and why. Let's all troop in and have a look. We all have who we admire, don't we? Yes, Chief. I want to get to know your human side. So tell me, who do you admire? It could be your parents, a friend, a celebrity, maybe even the president. Tell me. Um, well, for international level, an, an international celebrity, I do admire Michelle Obama. She's an inspiration to me, considering the fact that she's an intellect, she's very intelligent, she is, for me, she's a motivation, and Considering again the fact that I am a woman, I do admire women because I feel there is a need for us to support ourselves and be there for each other because only then will we be able to make a, um, the world a better place. And so for that reason, I do admire the first lady, Mrs. Fatima Jabibio, because in as much as I have never heard of her before the elections, but a display Everything she portrayed during that period is something I believe is worth admiring, considering the fact that she is strong, she, is, she has this perseverance and everything it comes with, the energy, the time, 
and everything. So I really, 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 from that moment, I admire her, considering all that she has been through or that she has gone through to get to this stage in life. She is an inspiration to me. Well, first of all, let me put it this way, Chief. Whatever I am right now, whatever, you know, this me, I mean the whole me, my heart, my mentality, my, you know, my knowledge and everything. I want to say thank you, first of all, to my dad. And secondly, goes to my mom. Because if I am here today, it's because of them. And it's because of what they taught me. Then I was growing up as a child. And I learned so much from them, the affection, the love. The lessons, not only the affection love, because as a parent, you not only, you know, show too much of affection to your kids, you have to be a bit, a little bit hard, you know, so that they'll, 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 they'll learn from that. And I actually learned that from my parents. They did, they did like give me too, too much that sugary stuff, that too much passion, because that obviously will make you a little bit, how would I say, soft. So they give me the hard and the 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 the, 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 the love and the the bitterness, something like that. They kind of mix it, so it actually helps me up when I helps helped me when I was growing up, and I kind of like see things with a different eye, with a different in a different angle, in a different perspective. So that's. Why I'm, that's why I am this way. Coming up as a, as a kid, I wanted to be a journalist. The one the, I really admired before this time was Phoebe Sweet since when she was working at Star Radio and later came to the SLBC. I actually went the extra and I got her number and I was like disturbing her with calls. I'm Monica. I'm also working for SLBC. At that time, I was working for the SLBC in Bo. I admire so much. She's so brilliant. I like people that are so brilliant because me being around them, I learn a lot from them. Well, I admire a lot of people, like the lady I'm imitating, and I'm maybe admiring your voice. <laughs> a voice whenever it bumps up, it's marvelous. In fact, the way you call my name. I used to say that. Who is the lady? Be more specific that you're imitating. You know, I don't watch much of television. Chief, come again. You said the lady that you imitate. Yeah. Who is the lady? It's Funke Akindele. Jennifer's diary. Bring a highly eventful day to a befitting close. Housemates were assigned the creative task of writing rap lyrics, which some call Cypher, for which the energetic president and CEO of AYV Media Empire, Ambassador Anthony Navu, is awarding 2.5 million Leon's cash prize as incentive for the best entry in originality and outstanding rhymes. At the end of their motivating and highly stimulating exercise, Kenshin Palmer emerged as the proud winner and in it Boston Jones was awarded one million millions as consolation prize. We wish them both hearty congratulations and a lucrative productive future in their chosen careers. Come on, say women empowerment, women empowerment, women empowerment. Let me hear you say women empowerment, women empowerment, women empowerment. Oh, come on. Woman now we mama there, not a for beat. Woman now we auntie there, not a for treat. Woman now we sister there, not a for kick. Say women empowerment, women empowerment, women empowerment. Empowerment, it will lead to the nation in betterment. I they talk to the guardians and parents. You where they live now, you also the parents. Empower you picking, put them at school. Lawyers, accountants, and even presidents. We can do anything. We're 
man na woman at the same time back na human. Imagine life na dunya if God not be make woman, a man for survive if not to be for woman. They get plenty things not to just for cook. Please man, word. Let me talk to the man them. Woman need to get special. Then get special skills and skills them. Woman then a queen with a precious with what let them. Why are you for the beats woman? Why are you for love and all the woman nowadays? We see say then they cry. Now we give for can them pull us out of the eye. We like them bad every time we see them. Then they cry. We for hug them, put them up. Let we see them for the bamba. Woman, them precious. Woman, the value. We for see woman at the front like Sumaga. We want to sing. What we for see them at the streets? They also. Mm. We then na the host and the chief na the ruler. Thing they go like how he wants them. I attend get him na the lion mountain. Cause I realize na this host no pain no gain. I they keep na me lane. Let me find take the fountain. Uh huh. Uh huh. The chief in sheep in soup is sweet. We then na the host he they provide with sheep. Anytime where we want we eat na the beef. <laughs> what he make where we there, yeah, we not get for involved. But any kind thing where they happen, now because now the chief now ain't getting us, and now how he want and we they go with her. <laughs> Sorry. I know uh-huh. you get up. I know like you uh-huh. get up. Yo, yo, uh, yo. Hey chief, how you doing? I swear I like your voice. Some money wake you all are afraid of this gun. Wake you say, can't church. Sorry that I get home. I can say, chief, well, that's good. But chief, if you bounce, me belly don't big. You they count all kind of food. I just they eat like I say no more. But chief, I say, there's plenty to you, my chief. Without you, this house is chief, and you take control. Then there's here, yeah, I don't think about the chief. I say the chief, my fine guy. I'm not seeing her yet. The chief get big voice, I forget in voice. But the chief, now one Come on, with all my respect, so chief, salute to you, sir. Thank you for the cipher. You know, my man, if I see you ever, Ambassador Navo Cipher Trophy and 2.5. Chief, I gotta say, it feels so good. It feels so good because I just had macaroni and snacks or some good food. But, chief, congratulations to everybody who try and I say. I feel real blessed because a lot of beautiful rappers and some rappers was there. And I was like, what's up, did you go win this? Bro? I believe you want to do it, you know what I'm trying to say? So I'm get to it, it's what I'm Well, that's all we have time for today. With the weekly evictions now having a telling effect on the character and composition of the house, the unpredictable but tantalizing excitement factor is now higher than ever. And you don't want to miss that. So stick with Housemate Salon Daily Show as we bring you the highlights of events, the thrills and thrills as they unfold. Until next time, I have been yours truly, Jimmy B. Housemates.